This video is about section 8.4 testing a claim about a standard deviation or variance. We'll start with an example here. A simple random sample of 28 filtered 100 millimeter uh, cigarettes is obtained from a normally distributed population. So first of all, the first sentence tells us the sample size n is 28 and also it tells us um, we have a simple random sample meet our first requirement and also uh, the sample is from a normally distributed population so meets our second requirement keep going and the tar content of each cigarette is measured. The sample has a standard deviation of 0 0.22 milligram. Okay, so what's given us here is the sample standard deviation, which is S. So we know S here is 0 0.22 milligrams. Okay. Use a 0 0.05 significance level. So now we know alpha. Alpha is 0 0.05 to test the claim that, here's the claim. The tar content of filtered 100 millimeter cigarettes has a standard deviation different from 0 0.35. Okay, so how do we write this claim in symbolic form? The population standard deviation is different from means not equal to 0 0.35. Okay, so claim is the population standard deviation, which is sigma. Sigma is not equal to 0 0.35 milligram so first let's start with the non hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis the non hypothesis is your sigma is equal to 0 0.35 because non hypothesis is always with a statement with the equal sign Okay, so now the alternative hypothesis will be the one without the equal sign, which is sigma is not equal to 0 0.35 milligram. And from here we can tell this is going to be a two-tailed test because here you have not equal to. All right, so that means we're going to choose C here. All right, keep going. The test statistic. So the test statistic for uh, testing a population standard deviation is chi-squared. How do we find this test statistic? We're going to use StatCrunch. So I'm going to come over here, question help. Here's StatCrunch. I'm going to open my StatCrunch from here. And under Stat, let me go to Variance Stats. Okay, one sample. Here we have the summary. Okay, Sample Variance. Sample Variance, we don't know the sample variance, but we do know the sample standard deviation, S, is 0 0.22. So sample variance is just sample standard deviation squared. So I'm going to put 0 0.22 squared. Okay, sample size, it's 28. Okay, the hypothesis test, the not hypothesis is the standard deviation is equal to not 1, not 0 0.35, but 0 0.35 squared. And 
And the alternative hypothesis is uh, sigma squared is not equal to 0 0.35 squared. Okay, now I can compute. All right, you can find the chi-square test statistic is 10.667 rounded to the nearest uh, three digit will be 10.668. So 10.668. All right, the p-value, the p-value can, we can find the p-value here, also at StatCrunch, 0 0.0042. So 0 0.0042. I'm sorry, it's three decimal places, 0.004. Don't make the same mistake as I did. Okay, 0.004, it's round to the three decimal places. So this should be right. All right, state the conclusion. So we compare our test statistic with our alpha, which is 0.05. It turned out our test, our uh, p-value, is less than our alpha. That means the sample we're having is extreme, is extreme, right? So we reject the non-hypothesis and there is sufficient evidence to conclude that um, basically to support your whatever your H1 is. There's sufficient evidence to conclude that uh, the secret has a standard deviation different from 0 0.35, which is the standard, uh, which is the uh, alternative hypothesis, right? H1. Now let's look at a different problem. This problem says data show that men between ages of 20 and 29 in a general population have a mean height of 69.3 inches with a standard deviation of 3.1 inches. A baseball analyst wonders whether the standard deviation of heights of major league baseball players is less than 3.1 inches. So first of all, what we can say is we know the claim here. The claim is the population standard deviation, sigma, is less than 3.1 inches. Okay, so, and also here it says the heights of 20 randomly selected players are shown in the table. And if you click here, you can see the table. Here are 20 randomly selected, the height of 20 randomly selected players. And something else we know is alpha is 0 0.01. All right, so first of all, from the claim, we can find the non-hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. The non-hypothesis is always with the equal sign. Sigma is equal to 3.1. And the alternative hypothesis would be the one without the equal sign. So sigma is less than 3.1. Now check the answer. Okay, next. Calculate the value of the test statistic. It's going to be chi-square because we are testing a claim about a population standard deviation. Okay, so we're going to use the sample given to us. I'm going to open this in StatCrunch. And you can see it's in this variable one, this column, and go to stat variance stat 
and one sample in this case is with data select the column with the data and your hypothesis for the null hypothesis is sigma squared is equal to 3.1 squared and the alternative hypothesis is sigma squared is less than 3.1 squared okay now it's already compute okay so here you can get the chi squared uh, stat 0. Point, oh, sorry 8.8241 okay let's find out how many uh, decimal places they want three decimal places so that means it will be um, 8.824 right p value it's written here p value is 0 0.02 round to three decimal places so 0 0.02 is good enough Okay, what did I do? Three decimal places, sorry. 3.23, I make this mistake all the time. 0 0.023, okay. So now, what is the correct conclusion at the alpha equals 0 0.01 as your uh, level of significance? Well, since the p-value 0 0.023 is greater than 0 0.01 then we fail to reject because that means our sample is not extreme enough right the probability of getting our sample is not small enough so we do not reject the null hypothesis there is not sufficient evidence to support h1 